this is Donnie with the Attention to Tech website and the Married with Tech podcast and website. Today I'm going to show you uh, how to make a TV mount for 30 bucks. And my dad showed me this how to make this, and <clears throat> I decided to make a little short video of it because I'm finally hanging my TV today. After a while, it's been several years. My wife's been after me to hang it, but I haven't. So, what we have here is a piece of angle iron that's a uh, it's 12 gauge. I have a 42 inch Vizio LCD. So it's three feet long. That's the perfect width for this uh, this TV. If you have a bigger TV or a smaller TV, you would have to get different widths. And what I've done is you have your mounting brackets on, uh, mounting slots, I guess you'd say, where the bolts go on the back of your TVs. And there was another one here. And what I've done is I've mounted this angle iron onto the TV on the mounting mounting slots. And if you wanted to add another bracket, you could add another piece of metal here for more stability if you have plasmas that are really heavy. But I've mounted that on there, and then I've also mounted a top bolt into the angle iron right there on both sides. And I'll show you what that's for. Come over here to the wall. I've mounted the same, let's see, look at focus here. I mounted the same piece of angle iron onto my wall, the same length and everything and mounted it up there with, with studs, where the studs are for real good support. And I've got my holes in the top here. And what I'm gonna do is when I go to hang it up, I'm gonna let them bolts that I showed you on the bracket line up with this hole and then go down in there. Well, that would hold our TV on this bracket and allow it to, to lay against the wall and you could hang it up for really, and, it, and it's a really close to the wall. There's a lot of brackets that stick out really far, but. I'll show you once I get it hung up there. I'm at the point right now where I've gotten both of them mounted on the TV and on top of the on, and on the wall. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready and, and drill my holes. I'm going to have to measure down here and find out where I drill a hole and go from there. I'm going to drill my hole for my wires. We got our hole there, and I did check to see if I had where I had studs and if I had any electrical wires behind there, and I was good before I did that. And someday when I move, I probably will have to fix this hole. All right, what I've done now is I have my top hole and my bottom hole drilled too, and I've ran a coat hanger in the top hole and come out of the bottom hole, and I'm going to hook these wires onto this bottom hanger and pull them straight up through there. Now this is what it looks like when uh, when you get your wires ran. They're going through the wall, so my next step is to hang the TV up and plug in my wires. Now we're good and secured. Okay, now we're hung up and plugged up and on. And it turned out real nicely. I still have to put everything back together, but the TV's plugged up and good to go. And I'm gonna try to show y'all back here what the brackets look like. You can look, that's the, your two pieces of angle iron. You can see down in there, there's where the bolt holes go in. And the, the bolts set down in them holes and hold it on the wall so thought this is a very cool design and like I said if you don't think it's strong enough if you have a plasma that's really heavy you can do two brackets in a row and that'll give you a lot more strength but I mean for thirty dollars you would have to spend a little bit more than thirty dollars but for thirty bucks to get me hung up you know like this and look exactly like I want it to and close up to the wall I can't beat it so thanks for watching guys